In this video I'm going to go over the process of exporting out textures from Substance Painter to import into Maya and use in a Stingray PBS shader. So once my texturing is all done, I can go to File, Export Textures. And I want to set up a configuration to use. So we're working with PBR Metallic Rough. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to come down here, select PBR Metallic Rough. And I need to export out base color, roughness, metallic, normal, and ambient occlusion. So in this configuration, there's height and emissive, which I don't have, and there isn't any ambient occlusion with it, which I do have. So I'm going to right click on the PBR Metal Rush Rough here and say duplicate and then I'm going to right click on that and rename and rename that PBR Metal Rough Stingray so I know that this is the one I set up for Stingray export so I'll select that and I can delete the emissive and the height and for base color I don't need an alpha channel because there isn't any transparency on this uh, object so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to create a new uh, base color by clicking on RGB here and coming down and dragging from base color here onto RGB and choosing RGB channels and then I'm going to name this dollar sign mesh underscore base color and what this does is dollar sign mesh means it will pull out the name of the mesh of your object and then underscore dollar sign texture set means it will put in the name of the texture set in my case I have the mesh named hammer and I only have one texture set on the mesh so I don't actually need the texture set name in there so I'm just gonna delete those so that they're all just dollar sky dollar sign mesh underscore and then the name of the texture so I have base color normal metallic roughness and I need ambient occlusion which ambient occlusion like metallic and roughness is a grayscale image so I'll create gray and drag ambient occlusion onto that and choose gray channel and then dollar sign mesh underscore a o for ambient occlusion and those are the five textures that I need to export so now that that's set up I can come over to export and I need to make sure that I choose the Stingray PBS um, export configuration that I just created so PBR Metal Rush un underscore Stingray I need to say where I'm going to save this which in my case I want to save it or I want to save it in the source images folder of my hammer project directory so come over to source images and hit select and want to make sure that the file type is set to targa by default it's set to PNG so make sure you change that to targa then if you open click this here you'll see that um, each of your your texture names so they're all named hammer because my mesh is named hammer and then underscore the name of the map and you should have five of them there make sure that over here it says 2048 by 2048 that's the size that I want to export out and once that's all set click export and you can either click OK or open folder and you'll see that those textures have all been exported as targas to my source images folder in my project directory. In the next video I will go over creating a Stingray PBS material in Maya and importing these textures and applying them to that material.